I think in the world of filmmaking, you have like these different tiers, you know? You have the one-man shooters, they have like a camera and a lens, and that's about it. Then you have the video team, which is where I categorize myself, you know, slightly bigger rig, multiple shooters, lighting. And then way over here, you have the purists, AKA the people who like actually went to film school. They're shooting on $100,000 Aries, cinema glass, big gimbals and monitors, millions of cables just like sprawling out of their camera. And you know, it's not fair. Why should they get the coolest tech? This though, this is one piece we can all have. So a few weeks ago, I actually got to hop on a pretty big commercial shoot with my friends over at Override Films. They've got this insane like $250,000 camera car. We actually made a video on that. It's gonna be coming out here soon. But basically Override is a production house that does just specialty shots. And the whole time they're actually shooting with this, the DJI transmission, more specifically, the DJI Transmission standard combo. We actually reviewed the DJI Transmission alongside the RS3 Pro about a year and a half ago. But that was the transmitter with this, which is DJI's seven inch high bright monitor. Great system, loved using it. It was obviously awesome for transmitting the image from the Red Raptor to this. We could actually even control the camera's focus, which is really nice. But with this, you're actually limited in the fact that this is your only monitor. Like the receiver is all built in, so. That's it. This though, allows you to use whatever monitor you want. And you have some extra functionality with this. So let's break it down. So DJI's transmission system in general is just an insane piece of tech. Basically it lets you transmit your video feed from 20,000 feet away with ultra low latency. And with the standard combo, you get SDI ports. You can also transmit metadata like the file name, time code, camera settings, lens information, which is great for everyone on set to see comprehensive shooting data beyond just the live feed from the camera. And you can pair an unlimited number of receivers to your transmitter. So if you're on a big set like the one I was on, you can give one to your director, your focus puller, your client, and anyone else who needed it. Just a really good way to make sure that everyone on set could watch the exact same feed. So if you were to compare the two transmission systems, the high bright combo and then the standard combo, both have the same range of so 20,000 feet. Both have automatic frequency hopping, meaning if one channel becomes jammed, it'll seamlessly jump to an open channel. Both are ultra low latency, so there's minimal lag between what the camera sees and what you see on the receiver. Both of them let you have an unlimited amount of receivers in the broadcast mode, but only on the standard combo can you transmit metadata from the SDI ports, have dual link SDI and HDMI output, and have support for fractional or like exact frame rates, like 23.976. But then only on the high bright monitor combo do you get a monitor with the receiver all built in. The ability to control your gimbal, your camera, and the focus with that monitor and the handles. And the ability to independently record and playback images on the monitor. So pros and cons between the two, but obviously more similarities and differences. I think it's also worth a quick mention that DJI dropped this octopus cable looking thing on the same day that they released the standard combo. It's called the DJI Transmission Cable Hub. Basically what it means is that when you're shooting on the RS3 Pro like we tested for the astronaut short film, you can now use LiDAR and DJI Transmission at the same time and lets you use the LiDAR rangefinder with any camera without needing the RS3 Pro to calibrate your lenses. Enough talking though. Let's try this thing out. All right, you guys are gonna get a nice, whoops, inside look at my studio because my homemade piece of crap POV rig. There we go. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? I have the RX video receiver here. Then, got another HDMI cable, another camera with the transmitter. So I'm gonna plug in the transmitter to the camera. Then we're gonna take that and see how far away we can actually walk away from this before we lose connection. So let's plug this guy in, turn these on. That's connected. This is our bit rate. That's how much data is being transferred currently per second. We're on channel seven, green, so that's good. Now we can just walk away and see how far. So again, in theory, you can go 20,000 feet away from this and you should have a connection still in a straight line. <laughs> We're definitely not in a straight line here. I'm in like a nice big office park. So we're gonna go through a few walls, uh, some brick walls. We're gonna go through some metal doors, maybe a couple buildings. I guess we'll just see how far away we get. 
But yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see. There we go. Off. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just testing the connection of this DJI transmission. So far, so good. We got one wall in between us and it's still connected. Full bars. All right, I'm gonna go outside. Wish me luck, try not to fall down these stairs. All right, now there's a brick wall right here between me and the camera. Pretty much the same bit, right? 15.4, it was like 15.8. I'm going through like multiple walls now, so still okay. Oh, starting to see a little glitching. Bitrate's gone down, lost one bar. I'm like, that's my building right there, if you can even see it. Yeah, I don't know, several walls away. I have a feeling when I go behind this, we're gonna totally lose it. On the channel, we're down to 10, eight, three, yeah, that's that's frozen. Okay, so that's obviously not 20,000 feet, but granted, this is several brick walls and several hundred feet away, so still not bad. And as soon as I get here and do a little bit better, the feed goes back to normal. Okay, well, we made it. We made it back. How's the lag? Huh. Touch latency. Not too bad though. My neck is killing me. I gotta get this thing off. Ow. Thanks for joining along. Okay, so the 20,000 feet of range really only applies when you have a direct view between your receiver and your transmitter. I was probably only like a few hundred feet away, but I did go through multiple doors and structures and it really didn't start cutting out until I went behind a completely different building. So really on a big set, as long as you're not some ridiculous distance away from the camera, you're gonna be just fine. What's really nice about this release from DJI is that it just makes their transmission system feel a little bit more complete and less out of reach. For solo videographers or small teams, it's a nice little boost to make your production work feel more complete and work more efficiently. When my team and I are shooting here in the studio for one of our clients, I love handing them a transmission system so they can see what our camera sees. And then if there's any issues with like the product, like there's a blemish or something on it, they can quickly catch that. Plus I feel like it makes them feel just more invested and part of the project, which is super fun for them. And assuming we do a good job, it makes them want to keep working with us. So guys, this is the DJI Transmission standard combo. Hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown. I did put a link to these in the description. So check that out if you want to learn more. And if you want a really good head start on your filmmaking journey, check out Full-Time Filmmaker. It's the number one online video creation course with over 60,000 students worldwide, all learning and supporting each other to make the best content possible and obviously make money with video. Thanks for watching. As always, if you guys have any further questions, please let me know. Have a